Hello everyone. Welcome back to EGMAT video series. Here we would be solving DI questions. Now, hopefully before you go through the video, I believe you have given enough time to the question. If not, we highly, highly recommend giving enough time before moving ahead with seeing this video solution. Now, with that said, let's move on with the solution. The key to solving this question, like most of the DI question is first to own the data set, take out proper inferences from proper parts of the statements, read thoroughly, do not jump, do not skim. And secondly, power to visualize. Visualize the, visualize the data that is present in front of you. This you need to figure out what is the best way to visualize here. As we would see, a chart would come in handy. Moving on. So what does the question say? To ensure computer security, a firm has rules. Yeah, definitely it should have about access of managerial and non-managerial employees. So right away we see that we have two types of employees, managerial and non-managerial. Okay. To various network computer devices, drives, sorry. In accordance with the rules, some, but not all non-managerial employees are allowed access to both B and D. Okay. What we are talking about is about non-managerial employees. Some as in greater than one, but not all, not all. Some were greater than one and less than what the total number of employees, non-managerial employees may be. Are allowed access to both D and B and D. Both B and D. Okay. What other drives do we talk about in the question? We talk about drive E. Okay. Let us come to there at a later point. Some are required to have such access. Okay. Cool. Moving ahead. Every non-managerial employee, every non-managerial, okay, must have access to at least one of B or D. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Every one of B and D. Okay. Everyone should have at least one of B and D. Understood? Noted. Now, no non-managerial employee is allowed to have access to both B and E. Okay. Okay. No one of non-managerial, both B and E. These are the three conditions we have with us. Okay. The rules do not restrict access of managerial employees to any of the drives mentioned. Okay. For managers, no rules. Okay. So first step, let us make some inference out of this data about non-managerial employees. So as you could see that there are three type of drives available. So let me use set theory here. Say this is representing all the non-managerial employees. Okay. Now what do we have? We have three drives. Let's say B, D and E. The first data says no non-managerial employee has both B and E. So both B and E, B and E both is zero. This is zero. This is zero. Noted. Everyone, everyone has one of B and D. Everyone has at least one of B and D, which basically means this is zero outside B, D and E. Only E is also zero. So basically this area is zero, this area is zero and this area is zero. Okay. Understood. What else do we have? We have greater than one, but not all both B and D. Okay greater than one, but not all. So this, there is some number here, which is greater than one and not all, which basically means there are some number present here, some number present here and some number present here. Okay. We do not know about those numbers, but let us see what the question says. From the following statements about the computer security practices in relation to the firm's employee, select for required. Okay. Required. The statement that based on the information provided describes a practice that is required by the rules. Okay, required by the rules. A small inference that you can take out here is that the rules are about non-managerial employees. Rules are not about managers. So this required section will talk about non-managerial employees. And select for permitted the statement that describes a practice that is permitted but not required. Okay, that is permitted but not required. Cool. So we will come to this permitted part a bit later. First of all, let us solve for the required part. 
एट लीस्ट वन नॉन मैनेजरियल एम्प्लॉय इज करेंटली नॉट अलाउड नॉट अलाउड एक्सेस टू एनी ऑफ थ्री डिवाइज बी डी एंड ई सो आउटसाइड बी डी एंड ई वी हैव स्टैब्लिश दैट दिस इज जीरो सो दिस कैन नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड नाउ इफ यू रियली थिंक अबाउट इट इफ समथिंग इज फॉल्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड can it be permitted permitted the statement that describes a practice that is permitted but not required by the rules but it has to be permitted i don't think it is permitted right because it is disqualified by the required so basically this permitted thing will somewhere or the other talk about managers and required thing will somewhere or the other talk about non managerial positions second talks about managerial employees okay so it will never be required according to rules because no rules are given for managers may be in permitted will come to the permitted section later the non managerial employees who are currently allowed access to drive d are also allowed access to drive e so who all are allowed access to d this region uh, this region of people this region of people and this region of people only one of these three here have access to e so not all so we can safely eliminate this the managerial and non managerial okay so we have rules only for non managerial let's to think about that first who are currently allowed access to drive b are also allowed access to e so who are allowed access to b this region here this region here but not to e b and e is explicitly zero it's given in the question itself so this cannot be required this this has to be the required one but let us also see any non managerial employees currently allowed to access e are also allowed to access d so anyone who is having access to e this set of people have access to d so yeah this becomes a correct statement now obviously this cannot be permitted uh so a good way to think about permitted option is that is it possible like is it possible in the first place that's the question you need to be asking and what as we have seen that this option is not possible not allowed access to any of the three drives but we have seen that everyone should have access to bnd this is not possible in the first place similarly the non manager employees who are currently allowed to access drive d are also allowed access to drive e this is not possible according to the rules so basically uh, this option about managerial and this also we have seen is not possible so this is the option that goes basically if you have to think about permitted think in terms of possible but not necessary and required you can think in terms of it is a necessary so yeah hopefully this helps the main challenge in this question was to understand the difference between required and permitted a uh, inference that we drew that required will have something to do with non managerial employees and permitted will have something to do with managerial employees so yeah these inferences along with uh, drawing out what we read in rules helps us visualize and uh, go through the data in a much more efficient and structured manner if you like the solution do hit this video a like and subscribe to our channel it takes a lot of effort to create such videos hope it adds value to your gmat journey before moving forward i think it is very important that we go into a bit more depth regarding this option so let us see the non managerial employees so all our non managerial employees who are currently allowed access to drive d who are allowed access to drive d that is the first question someone who is here is allowed access to drive d someone who is here is allowed access to drive d and someone who is here is allowed access to drive d right these three kind of people say 1 2 3 1 p2 and p3 these are the three people who have allowed access to drive 3 are also allowed access to drive e so does p1 has access to e no does p2 have access to e no only p3 so the statement is wrong the non managerial employees are currently allowed access to drive b are also allowed access to drive e no not all some have definitely but not all the key here is to understand that we are talking about all these three kind of people in this option if p1 and p2 would have been zero then the statement would have been true but that is not the case right now let us also very quickly see what is happening with option e again any non managerial employee currently allowed access to drive e so again let us point to the people who are allowed access to drive e 
somebody who would be here somebody who would be here somebody who would be here and somebody who would be here so as you could see only this there there's a value everywhere else it's zero 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 so only this p3 has access to e okay are also allowed access to d yes correct so basically in option d there were some people allowed access to both and not all here all here everyone is allowed so this makes the correct answer and this is uh, that is the reason that this option c is wrong so yeah hope that helps to bring even more clarity here